this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a few recommended programs that will help you design classroom resources that are professional, visually appealing, and accessible to a wide audience. The two programs I'll be highlighting are easy to learn and fairly inexpensive when compared to other design programs. Know that it is entirely possible to create classroom resources with alternative programs, but not nearly as efficient or cost effective. The first program I'd like to highlight for you is Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a go-to software for many teacher creators because it allows you to format worksheets, rubrics, principles, and presentations for the classroom using the Microsoft interface that you've likely used at work or at home. Adding things like clip art, text boxes, and easily formatting tables is much more efficient than when using word processing programs like Microsoft Word, which can really limit your ability to move objects around freely and get that visually appealing format that you're looking for. Resources designed in PowerPoint also convert to sleeker, more professional looking PDF documents because you can easily fill the entire page without being restricted by margins. The second program I'd like to highlight for you is Adobe Acrobat Pro. This is a program that allows you to secure your resources and to protect your intellectual property. It simply is not enough to add a terms of use page and a copyright stamp to each of your resources. You must take that extra step to password protect your documents to create a secure PDF file. Many teacher creators who neglect to take these steps because they're deterred by the price of Adobe Acrobat Pro have seen their resources picked apart and even given away for free online. You also run the risk of breaking the terms of use of graphic artists and font designers when you publish your resources as non-secure PDFs. It's easy for people to separate the layers of your documents and take away clip art and fonts for their own use. Essentially, you're giving away your own work and any artist clip art for free when your PDFs are not secure. Adobe Acrobat Pro eliminates this problem. If you already have these programs installed on your school district provided computer, you must purchase your own license for your personal computer. Your school owned computer is designated for work use and cannot be used to design resources that you will profit from. You must also design all resources during your personal time outside of your contract hours. That's all I have to share about my recommended programs for teacher creators. You'll see me using these programs throughout our other video tutorials. Once you have programs that you want on your home computer, come back for Preparation Tool 2, which will teach you how to get your computer organized to increase your productivity.